Hey everyone, Kerry here. Uh, in today's video, I will be showing you how I replaced the little Bowden tube connector in my Flashforge Adventure 3 3D printer. So for a long time our printers actually sat unused uh, because we had some problems with blockages in the nozzle and that whole nozzle assembly area. So we recently decided, okay, we need to get this thing working now. So we bought a new nozzle and replaced that. Um, and the next thing that is broken is that the Bowden tube won't stay in its connector. And we can't print like that because it keeps popping out and then the filament doesn't go through properly. So in this video, I will be showing you how I replaced the little Bowden tube connector. Uh, you will see that it actually didn't go to plan because uh, instead of just easily screwing out of the threaded insert, the little connector was actually kind of sealed inside. I assume with, you know, some hardened... Uh, filament that had leaked in there somehow so uh, <laughs> we had to find another way to replace it you can see exactly how um, we managed to do that later on in the video okay so first things first we have to pop the hood of the printer so that we can easily access that nozzle assembly from the top carefully tuck the cable away it's not necessary to unplug it we can work around it then grab yourself an allen key and unscrew the screw that is holding the top cover in place. Once the screw is out, carefully wiggle the top cover off. Don't force it, just continue to uh, wiggle it around until it pops out of place. You can take it to one side and fix it to the side with something. I just grabbed a piece of sticky tape and held it in place to the side like that. With the cover out of the way, you should be able to unscrew the connector. However, as you can see, I was struggling a lot trying to get this connector out and it was just not budging. Even with a pair of pliers, it would uh, rotate but it wasn't actually screwing out. Now we had had some blockage problems in our nozzle not too long ago which we had to buy a new, mo a new nozzle for. So this made me think that maybe the blockage was actually also further up and in this connector as well. So for some reason this connector had fused to the threaded insert and me turning it like this was actually just turning that whole threaded insert <laughs> instead of unscrewing the connector. So in the end I decided to just pull it out and go from there. As you can see I uh, managed to get it out and I can see remnants of maybe some sort of blockage there. The next challenge now was to get this connector out of the insert. Um, it took a lot of effort and muscle to get it off. <laughs> uh, I did that off camera. Um, but as you can see, I managed to finally get it out. And as you can see, that old connector looks a bit uh, crummy and full of gunk. But the, uh, the threaded insert looks good. So I popped the new one on and the next thing we had to do was get the insert back inside. But it was a lot harder than I expected to get it back in and I didn't want to damage the, the new connector. So I took it out and <laughs> got an Allen key and while supporting it underneath I tried hard to, to push it down. But still no luck. So I grabbed a little screwdriver just to pop open the casing a little bit to allow more room. And that seemed to help quite a lot. Uh, to, to push it in a bit more. One last push with the Allen key while supporting underneath, it's very important. I managed to pop it in and then once again we could screw in the connector. This is a standard uh, M6 screw, 4mm uh, tube entry connector. 
and I'll put a link in the description if you want to see exactly which one I bought. The Bowden tube outer diameter is four millimeters, so it it worked out well. And lastly, we could pop the cover back on. So once again, when doing this, just be careful not to force anything to break it, but. It eventually clips back in place and you can put the screw back in. Before I put the tube in, uh, you can see that the end of our tube was a little bit damaged. So I first cut it just before the damaged part to save as much length as possible. And once I did that, I could now push it as hard as I could into the connector that we just installed. And I, already I could feel that it went in further than with the old one. I gave it a few tugs to make sure that it didn't come out easily and yeah, it was pretty secure. So that worked out really well. And then finally we can put the cover back on the top cover. For some reason I struggled putting this cover back on. <laughs> But yeah, eventually, eventually I get it. <laughs> then the ultimate test, I had to feed uh, my filament back in before we could do a test print to make sure that the tube doesn't pop out of the connector, as was the problem with the old connector. So, so far so good. Feeding the filament in works well. And then I printed the standard uh, cube that comes with the Flash Forge Adventurer 3 printer. And voila, it seems to be doing really well. And I have been printing almost non-stop since I <laughs> replaced this, uh, the nozzle and the connector and it's been working like a charm. Probably the best that's ever been working. So. Yeah, I'm happy. And there you go, just to show you the finished cube. And I think that looks stunning. So there you have it. That's how you replace your burden tube connector on your Flash Forge Adventure 3 3D printer.